Hi guys, Andre from Conveyor of Randomness here, and today I'll be looking at the PlayStation Aim Controller. This is the PlayStation Aim Controller. Works alongside the PlayStation VR headset to give you that further immersion into VR compared to when you play the same VR shooter games with the DualShock controller. A perfectly fine-tuned accessory that balances build quality and weight, making it ideal for enjoying hours of gaming fun without ever feeling like it's just another accessory. All of the familiar DualShock controller buttons are in positions that make it comfortable to press each button when playing, including the normal shoot button for regular games, R2, in the trigger position. Each joystick in positions easily accessible to each thumb and the rest of the buttons dotted around each of those positions. It caters perfectly for left and right handed grips. With its symmetrical design, the only duplicated button, R1, located on the left and right side above the trigger for whichever index finger you use for the trigger. At the front of the controller, you'll find the orb, which lights up when connected to the PlayStation, the same as the PlayStation Move controllers. Since it was announced, the AIM controller, along with the whole PlayStation VR system and the game Farpoint, which this AIM controller excels with, you can guarantee that once you've played a VR first-person shooter game with the AIM controller, playing another VR game without it feels different. It takes games like Farpoint and transforms them from being another FPS on an alien world to being a very credible and well put together VR experience. You can tell a lot of thought went into creating an accessory like this that complements the VR experience perfectly by adding to the feeling that you're really there playing within the game without ever leaving your living room. Or with something that looks like it was designed in the 90s with the thoughts of what the futuristic guns would look like. Well, that's what I think when I look and play with the AIM controller, something you'd find in the movie Tron. It take a bit of getting used to the positioning of your hands to the buttons, but it's, believe me, it's worth the time to get used to this unique playing experience. Yes, VR isn't for everyone. Some people can't connect to the immersion and enjoy the gameplay, while in others, the VR experience may trigger motion sickness. If that's the case, you still play, just ensure that you're taking regular breaks away from the gameplay. Being able to get that in-game shooting position thanks to the interaction between the orb and the PlayStation camera making your shots fast and accurate along with the haptic feedback you get from every shot you take and the immersion that all these small details create make for an experience like no other. The AIM controller takes everything that the DualShock and the Move controller can do and delivers a completely different user experience. There is nothing that you can do on either of those controllers that you can't do on the AIM controller, from quickly swapping from gameplay to initiating or pausing your live stream, to exiting out of a game or turning off the PlayStation. All of it can be done via the PlayStation AIM controller. You can buy this AIM controller separately to complement your existing PlayStation VR setup, but you may find better deals with it coming as part of a gaming bundle, like I did with the Firewall Zero Hour or with the Farpoint games. What well, better time to get the AIM controller, especially with Farpoint currently being the free PlayStation Plus subscriber game for March. If the tech is like this now with the current VR system, it makes me look forward to how Sony and the competition take accessories like this to the next level. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. When you watch one of the two videos below, or both if you want, to click before the time runs out. Three, two, one, go.